And then I'm gonna add some shimmer. It just broke on me, oh my gosh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. So in today's video, I'll be doing a full get ready with me to take Instagram photos. I haven't posted on Instagram in like a week, which is pretty bad for a content creator. I just, I just haven't taken any photos, but we're doing our hair, makeup, outfit, and perfume like we did in the last full get ready with me. So that's what we're doing. So for my hair, we're doing a ponytail and uh, I had to take that ponytail out just to redo it to show you guys how I did it because I knew you guys would probably be upset if I didn't show that. But I need to like rebrush my hair. So I'm using this um this Pantene dry conditioning mist. I don't know if you guys can see it. That's what you call it, right? Yeah, dry conditioner mist, not conditioning. Just to like loosen up my hair, if that makes sense, because it feels pretty stiff because I had edge control in it. So I just want to like loosen that up to be able to like easily brush it out. And with my ponytails, some people like to have them like slick back. I like a little part in the front. I don't know why it just does something to the ponytail that looks better on my face shape. So I create a part in the front. Brush it back. Brush out edges. I'm gonna look crazy for a sec. And so because my hair is short, I found that it's easier to put the ponytail together in sections. So I'm just going to part out this back part um, and section it off. And then I'm going to do two ponytails and put them in one. So if you have shorter hair, I would recommend doing that. It's way easier doing that versus trying to get it all in one ponytail the first time. I don't know if I want it to be higher up. Do I want it higher up? I want it like slightly higher up. Just so you can kind of see the base more in photos. But then again, I like it when it's a little back to, let's just see how it looks, like higher up just a little bit. Yeah, that might, that might be cool. I'm filming my bathroom, one, because I like to film my bathroom. And two, I moved like my camera and my lights to my new studio. So like, I mean, I could still film in the old studio. I still have lights in there, but not the lights I had. So like, let me just film in my bathroom or like, you know, make use of other locations in my house while I set up the new studio. Okay. So now I'm bringing that back ponytail up into the top ponytail. And I'm just gonna connect them. But before, I'll lightly brush that up. I'm just gonna just make sure that's neat up there. Took a little bit of water. Cause edge control, sometimes when you brush through it, it's like, it can get white. I don't like that. So I'm brushing my edges out. Cause we're about to lay those. So to lay my edges, I'm using this edge fixer. It's the scent pineapple. It's from uh, the Kiss and Sweetie collection. I like this stuff. It has a really good hold. Like it holds. And I just like, I just like the product. I feel like Kiss is really good at making edge controls. I've said this before. So I'm just doing some swoops, nothing too dramatic. My hair looks wet because there's water on it, it'll dry. And I'm just taking this edge control brush I got the beauty supply store. Kiss makes these too. I won't know if I really like my edges or not until I do the ponytail. So let's do the ponytail, and if we gotta make any changes, we will. But like, it's not gonna come together until I put the ponytail on, okay? So for the ponytail, what I'm gonna do is braid the hair I left out. If your hair is shorter, you can add like, um, 
extend it to this braid and just extend it or if you want like a longer ponytail you can do the same thing but I'm cool with this it's kind of hard to braid because it's short but I'll tell you guys what I do I just take rubber bands to help it like stay put you know and I like rubber band it into the very end I can already tell I'm gonna change this swoop because I don't like it <laughs> so I'm pulling my rubber band just make sure that's straight All right, so now I'm gonna take my bundles. And I got these from Hair Queen LA. I like these bundles. I had to find out exactly which ones these are, but they're really good quality. And I like the texture of this. Like, I can't explain it, but it just looks really natural. So you're gonna wanna take the end of the track and you need a scrunchie. Um, and then you like connect it to the very end of your little ponytail and like put this right here so it doesn't get tied up in the scrunchie. And you just tie the end of the track to the end of your ponytail. I really hope that makes sense. I really do. I learned this method from Tara Walker, so I'll just link her video down below if you guys want more, like a more in-depth tutorial. But I don't really know how much more simple I can make it. Like you just literally tie the end of the track to the end of your ponytail. It's like it's pretty simple. Then you move it. And then you just start to wrap it up your ponytail. It's really, really easy, actually. So, you just start to wrap, just wrap up. I'm gonna speed this part up. So when you get to the end, I'm gonna add like one more track too, or like a half of a track, but when you get to the end, that extra piece of hair that's left, you just wrap it around the base of your ponytail. And that is going to keep it very secure. So you just wrap it until you're finished. And if you want to, if you just want more security, you can put a bobby pin, but what I will say is that it's gonna like, just based on how you place it, it could irritate your um, scalp. So as long as you just wrap really tight, you're gonna be fine. Like it's not gonna fall off. I would tell you if it did. Ooh, I kind of like a side point time moment, but no, it's too high up. Oh, I like this placement a lot. Ah, okay. <sighs> I wasn't sure how that placement was gonna work. And so to add the second track, all you do is you place it like that. You take the end, you wrap it around the base to secure that. Oh, I love this placement. This placement's perfect. I mean, I like the low ponytail too, but I also don't like my ponytail's too high. I feel like this placement is really perfect. I feel like the placement of the ponytail is really like a thing. You know, like you have to know where to place it. It's very important. After you like wrap that initial piece around the base, I'm sweating y'all. Um, you just take the track and you wrap it the opposite way. You can just wrap until you get to the very base. Before I finalize the wrapping, I'm just combing through with my fingers to make sure everything's in place. It looks good. And then you wrap this. Now with this final piece, you could for sure put a bobby pin. But like I said, you don't need to um, because the hair gets slightly thinner as it gets to the end and it gets easier to like really wrap it. And when I'm wrapping it, I'm almost like tucking it underneath the hair that's already up there and that's making it even more secure. If you've done a ponytail before, you know what I'm talking about. Or when you do this, you'll know what I'm referring to. Like I'm tucking it underneath and really wrapping it, tucking it to the very end, and it feels so secure. So now, to finish this off, this looks so good. I just take a piece from the bottom or the back of the ponytail. It depends on how like thick you want that piece to be. Uh, that's how much, um, that'll determine how much hair you pull from the back. And I just take it. I mean, you can spray it to make it look neater. I never even use spray. I'm gonna use spray. You know what? I'm gonna use edge control. I'm gonna take my little edge brush and just brush that through. Perfect. So for this part, I am gonna put a body pin because this part can and will freaking loosen up. So I just take a body pin, I tuck that, and then I finish wrapping. Ooh. 
Ooh, I gotta get used to high ponytails. I'm so not used to them anymore. I'm just gonna fix this little soup really fast. I think it looks too, like, thick. I don't know. There's something about it I don't like, so I'm gonna just fix that. One more thing I'm gonna do, okay, so the only thing I don't like about doing ponytails anymore, especially based on the edge control you use, some edge control is really shiny, and usually ponytails aren't. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't like that, I don't like that. So I'll either put oil in a ponytail, which I'll probably do later, or I'll spray dry shampoo just to make my hair look more matte so it blends with the ponytail a little bit better. You guys won't, I don't know if you guys are tall on camera, but in person I can tell a difference. So I just use a little bit of dry shampoo so that it's matte like the hair so it just matches better because I don't think that looks good. I'm gonna go over that with a little bit of dry conditioner though. Cool. All right. 30 minutes later, we're done with our hair. Now, we gotta do All right, so I zoomed in to the makeup because I'm always too far away um, to do my eyeshadow because I'm gonna start with that. So I actually do it. Starting off with eyes. I'm just priming with this NARS concealer, the soft matte concealer in the shade Biscuit. I'm gonna use a little mirror to help me out. And I'm just taking this fluffy brush by Real Techniques. This is called the Deluxe, it's like, it's faded. Deluxe Crease Brush. I think that's what it says. So I'm just gonna blend out with that. So I don't know what kind of look I wanna do, but I know I wanna do green and kind of smoky. I have like these three Melt Cot, or four Melt Cosmetics palettes. That I'm just gonna, I'm gonna open them all up and just choose what to use. I'm gonna start with the Gemini palette, which is like all greens and earthy tones. Hmm, what should we start off with? I'm gonna start off with Luna, which has like a base. And this is gonna help me like avoid bringing like the dark shadow too high up if I don't want to. And just, you know, making any mistakes. Now I'm gonna take the shade Polka Dot, which looks pretty promising. And I'm gonna place that on my outer crease and like work that inwards. I'm taking the shade Cupcake, which is like a darker brown, and I'm brushing that on top with the bigger, fluffier brush so it's not too dark. Now I'm gonna take the shade Leo, which is like a deeper green, and I'm gonna start placing that on my outer crease. That's pretty. I don't know where I'm going with this. I really have to start doing more eyeshadow so I feel like know where I'm going with things, you know? Because after I like get the base down, I get stuck. Like, okay, like what do I want to do next? I'm just bringing that higher up. Someone said I should start doing that. Like bringing my shadow just a little higher up. Kind of do that. It looks pretty though. I kind of like it brought higher up. I'm not used to that, but. I'm not at it either. What's next, guys? <laughs> um, oh boy. Uh, let's take some polka dots, see what that does for us. Nothing. Okay, let's try it over here. No, it's not really giving me what I thought it would. Okay, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go into another palette. Okay, I'm gonna go into this palette. This is the Vita palette. You can see me in the mirror. And I'm gonna take, let's take this like bright green color. That looks pretty cool. This is boring. Okay, I'm gonna add another color on top. But since I've already put on one lid, I have to do the other lid so the eyes look the same. That's not what I had in mind. Okay. I'm gonna go in with this shade chocolate in this palette though, which should deepen the outer crease area because I want it to be a little more deep. Oh my God. This fucking sucks. I don't like it. I'm going in with the Smoke Obsessions palette. I don't know what shade I'm gonna, let's try Blue Dream. At this point, I'm willing to try anything. I need like a spray though, to like really, or maybe I can use my finger. Oh, ooh, that's pretty. Okay, we might be getting somewhere. I like how that looks, I like that a lot actually. Make sure this eye gets some love too. Taking the shade metal green and like mixing that in there too. I like that. I took this the shade Space Queen, which is really pigmented. 
just to bloom that. At this point, this isn't even a tutorial. It's just me experimenting things and forcing myself to do colorful eyeshadow. <laughs> Don't get mad. Be happy that I'm trying. Mm, I like that way more. So what I did was took smoke green or metal green. And I kind of just like buff that on top of the blue dream. And it gave me just more of like a green smoky eye. But I do think I could bring the shadow a little bit more up. And I'm taking like a flat kind of fluffy brush just so I have more control over how high the shadow goes up. But I do want it a little higher. Okay guys, let's move on to the face. And then go back and add more later if we need to. Maybe we can add a glitter or something. I don't know. But so first I'm taking for solid liquid glass. And I'm just dropping that onto my face without letting the dropper touch my face. Because I heard it's not sanitary. Let's rub that in. I took this Kevin Aquan Glass Glow Face Illuminator to have under my foundation. To see if that gives me a more like bronzy look and this is in the shade spectrum bronze spec spectrum i hate that word it's so not taking the same nars concealer i use to prime my eyes with i'm going to conceal with that That primer, the Kevin Kwan one, because it's kind of sticky, it's having the product glide onto my skin like so easily. I like that. I look crazy. Okay, so for foundation, I'm using the NARS Sheer Glow. Put a little bit on my hand. My forehead area, I take a brush and like dab it. Uh, and this helps me avoid messing up like my edges and stuff. And it just looks more natural that way. Because most people like their heads like darker up here. Um, so it's hard to get like a perfect match. So I feel like when you buff it out with a brush, I don't know, it just blends in a way where it like it works, okay? <laughs> Taking the end of my sponge and like sharpening the concealer under my shadow. I feel like you guys are a little too close to me. Is that better? Like like this? Okay, that's better. I look nuts. So before setting with powder, I'm gonna like cream contour with this Ruby Kisses 3D Face Creator. And I'm just gonna place that around my forehead area. I'm gonna blend out with a sponge. I'm just applying with a brush. That looks good. Okay. So now I set underneath my eyes and just taking my Chanel uh, setting powder. I'm putting a slightly thicker layer on top of the layer I just used to set to just bake a little bit. But I'm only focusing it like on the inner part where I want it to be really bright. I'm not going to bring it up. Alright, so while that's setting or baking, I'm just going to set the rest of my face using my MAC. Mineralized skin finish. I switched brushes. I don't think the other one was like really setting it the way I wanted it to. I could still feel that my face is wet. So now I'm gonna take my Dragon Beauty Transformation Palette or the Transformation Face Palette, I think. And while I'm dusting the powder off, I'm gonna brighten my under eye at the same time. Okay, that's cool. I'm gonna quickly contour my nose using Hula Bronzer by Benefit. I'm gonna take this foundation powder I have that's slightly darker than my skin tone and place it on my nose anyways though, just to create a more bronze look on my nose. So before I move forward with more powders, I'm gonna set my face. I set my face like two or three times, like whenever I do my makeup. Okay, so for blush, I'm going in with my Lunar Beauty Blush Palette, which is my favorite at the moment. And I'm gonna take the shade Twilight. And I'm focusing that like on my upper 
cheek area. Oh, I like that. Going with Pink Moon too, and adding that on top. It's just a softer pink. I'm gonna put that on my nose too, the softer pink one. For bronzer, I'm just gonna go in with Tarte Hotel Airs and really focus that up here, like right next to the blush. My least favorite part is brows. So let's just get those out of the way. It'll make me look less crazy. So I'm just gonna start those. I'm actually gonna shut up and like speed this part up. Unless you guys want this video to be an hour and 30 minutes. I didn't think so. brows I'm starting to look normal I'm just gonna set them with the same powder I used to set my entire face I like to set my brows to thing um let's brush that up cool oops you lost me for a second now we must do eyeliner so I'm gonna shut up again and focus on that because I can't talk while I do my eyeliner because I'll mess up Uh, guys, really quick. One, I just decided to do my lashes uh, while listening to music because I love the song. But two, I'm not going to take photos. Well, it's photos for Instagram, but I kind of want to go to the lab and like take some professional photos. And I'll just take you guys with me because I am like how this is coming out. It's giving me very much photo shoot, so I think that's what we should do. And I mean, I kind of have to go to the lab anyways because all my backdrop papers are there, so that's what we'll do. It'll be my first time shooting the studio, and I'm bringing you guys with me because I think this makeup look... I could do something with this. I just have a vision, okay? Okay. So I want some shimmer like right here, but I don't want it to be too light. So from the Gemini palette, I'm taking the shade Gemini, which is almost like a peachy shimmer. You know, I like that look good with the green. That looks pretty. I like that. I like it a lot actually. Yeah, that looks really pretty. Ooh. Okay, let's do our lips now. So for lips, I'm gonna line with Chestnut by Mac. You guys, I knew that though. And then on top of that, I'm gonna apply this MAC powder. Just to like kinda like nude my lips are a little bit. And on top of that, I'm taking Katie by Buxom. I'm gonna just define my cupid's bow a little bit. Kinda wanna lose it. So now I'm gonna set one more time. Guys, my makeup looks so good in person. Like, we're about to go to the lab and make some fucking magic. I didn't get dressed though. I don't know what I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna figure that out. I'm gonna grab my fragrance and then we'll get dressed at the lab and take these photos. Cool? Cool. I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys, I'm in the lab. I just got here. I need to change. So basically, I'm gonna show you the outfit I picked out. Studio is not set up at all, and it just dawned on me that I didn't bring any stick pins to stick up my freaking uh, backdrop paper, so I think I'm gonna just take it from the white wall. I mean, I think that looked good too. I just have this top, I kept the same jeans on. Um, I don't know how far I could back up for you guys to see my shoes. You're not gonna see me anymore. I have these heels on, I'll just show you the 
Here are my heels. Just these like little croc, what is that crocodile or snake? Girl, I don't know. But just cute little heels, so that's the shoes I'm wearing. My camera set up right here. I'm gonna sit in this chair that I need to take the tag off and just see what I come up with. So, ah, that didn't go well. I'm gonna take the photos and then I'll show you guys the finished look. I totally forgot guys. I didn't show you guys the fragrance I'm wearing. I'm like nearly, oh my gosh, this is so hard. <sighs> Hold on. I'm down here. I'm gonna use this Givenchy pie. It's just my mood for right now. So I'm gonna spray some like that. And then I'm gonna add some shimmer. It just broke on me, oh my gosh. Get the back back on. I wanna add some shimmer. This is Patrick Ta. This is the shade. We need her, it's a gold pearl. So we're gonna shine. All right, I'm gonna take the photos now. I just didn't wanna forget the, like the perfume because I told you guys I'll show you guys. So yeah, it'll be linked down below. All right guys, I just got done taking my photos and they came out so good. Like I look really fucking good. Honestly, when you're taking your photos, especially by yourself, you need to hype yourself up. If you don't hype yourself up, you're not talking to yourself during the shoot, the, the photos are just not gonna hit the same. When I'm taking my photos, like, the stuff I say, and I think like if someone's watching it, probably comes off as arrogant, but I, I don't care. Like I need to hide myself up because I gotta feel good in order to like, you know, look good. Er, you know what I'm saying? Like trust me, just do it. Like when you're smelling good, that's why it's always important to wear perfume, honestly all the time, but especially when you're taking photos because I really do feel like it adds to just the overall vibe. Like when you smell good, you're like, oh, I smell good. Like if she look good, it's just a whole fucking package, okay? So the photos came out really good. I'm gonna insert them to in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already and here are the final photos. They look really good, right? I know. They came out so good. Honestly, this lighting in my new studio is so good. I'm being here taking photos like every single day. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed your time while watching this video. Um, I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Yeah, I'll see you guys on Wednesday.